Good morning, church. It's my privilege to share with you the devotions um, for this week. I just want to speak off the back of um, what we heard on Sunday from Derek around um, the possessions. And I was just thinking about Philippians um, chapter four, where Paul is talking to the church in Philippi. Now, the church in Philippi had been supporting Paul financially and um, helping him that way. But, you know, this was not a rich church. These people were poor. These people were struggling to make ends meet themselves. But they decided that out of what they had, they would make sure Paul was supported so that he could continue to do the good work that God had called him to do. And uh, Paul is just talking in chapter four. He says he says these incredible words. He says, um, I've learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret to be, of being content in every and any situation, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. And that's a powerful um, couple of verses there. And I think that those couple of verses sum up years of Paul's life and lessons that he's learned. You know, we don't automatically learn to be content um, with, with little or with plenty. It's a real lesson. Um, back in the days where we didn't have much money as a couple, we were pushing things in terms of the vision for the church. And so at, that, at some point we had to take away any payment or salary. And so I remember having a couple of small children um, in a double buggy. Um, I'd filled the whole of the double buggy underneath with betterware catalogues. And I used to walk down Highcombe Road, um, dropping off these catalogues, trying to make a bit of a living um, because we didn't have the finances to, to get through. And it was a real, really tricky time, actually. Um, it was tricky to try and work out how we were going to make our budget um, fit. And yet God taught us so much through that time. He taught us through the incredible giving of people in our church who didn't fully know our situation, but God seemed to um, share with them that we might have needed some food or we might have needed some supplies. Um, some of our friends in London used to send us checks just saying, God laid it on my heart, so I'd like to send you some money to help. And it just really felt like that season of kind of receiving manna from heaven. And they are really incredible times because God blows us away with providing everything that we need. But they're not easy to go through those times. It's not easy to, to look at your budget and think, it's not quite working out. <laughs> and what you're learning to do is you're learning to rely on who God is, not on what you can do for yourself. And it's... Um, it's, it's a real challenge, but what I've learned from that is that there is a contentment, there is a sense of understanding that God ultimately provides for us. And I feel like that's what Paul's trying to say here. You know, he's he's been in both situations and he's learned that he can have a certain contentment and a certain rest in knowing that God's provision is there. And I just really sense that challenge as Derek was preaching on Sunday, that, you know, what we have in our hands is not just for us. You know, there's a wonderful proverb of, if you have more than what you need, build a longer table, not a higher fence. And it's that sense of being able to bless others with what God has given you. And that might not be something financial. It might be a hug. It might be your time. It might be a listening ear. It might be whatever those people need, you can give. And it's incredible because actually in verse 19, Paul then says this to the church in Philippi. He says, and my God will meet all of your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. So he's saying that, thank you for giving. Thank you that this is the situation that we've been in, that you've been able to bless me. But I want you to know that God will meet all of your needs according to his glorious riches. And the fact that he's going to meet your needs according to his riches, not according to anything else, not according to what the world might say, not according to what the society might say. It's according to God's glorious riches. You know, you can never outgive God. I've preached on this time and time again. You can't outgive God. Whatever you give, God will continually fill up your tank more and more and more in order for you to keep blessing others. So when we have anything in our hands, instead of holding it tightly like this and making sure that we get to keep it to ourselves, 
keep your hands open like this because as God can fill it and then you can pour it out to others, he'll continue to fill, continue to fill. If you hold things like this, he says, well, you haven't got any container for me to pour my blessings into. So keep your hands open. Keep your attitude that whatever I have, I can give. Whatever I um, have have to, to bless others with, I will continue to do. And, you know, learn that that um, incredible lesson of being content in every circumstance. You can rely on who God is. So I want you to bless that with you today and just uh, go ahead and have a fantastic rest of your week.